What's up, gangsters? We got into SEMA, boy! <laughs> Alright, guys, we got into SEMA. Um, we got invited to SEMA, I should say. We're not in SEMA yet. We're still on a lift without wheels. Um, we still have a lot of painting to do. We have to paint the whole car. We have to Cerakote everything that Cook just fabricated right here. Uh, we have to do that. We have to color match some stuff in the engine bay. More Cerakoting is gonna go down. We gotta finish fitting the hood. Uh, we gotta finish fitting the fenders to the hood. We did some more fiberglass work in here to make it tighter and better. Um, there's still a ton to be done. Cook's pretty much finished off with what he needed to do, which was getting the exhaust system and cold side of it all finished up. Um, he did that last night and we only have 10 days left. So we're still on a crunch. We have a lot to do. We're on schedule, but we have no time to screw up at all. So. Are you getting a phone call? Are you getting a phone call, Anthony? Come on, dude. Unprofessional. All right, guys. So I got some primer made up in my cup. We got our little cracks and imperfections finished up in our engine bay. Tiny little things, but we are perfectionists and we don't want to be picked apart. So with that being said, we got the primer mixed. Uh, it is a quick drying primer, so we will have this finish being prepped tonight. Uh, I know I wanted to get it painted tonight, but Cook wants to wait till tomorrow so we can move the rest of these cars out. We can wash this area, bag everything. We don't want to rush it. We're gonna make it a really nice paint job. So let's get it going. What's up guys? It is the following day. Uh, we have all of the engine bay prepped and masked and ready to spray. I'm mixing up black right now. We're gonna put a whole coat of black base coat, get a consistent color, and then we're gonna come in and put our pearl over the top of that and that's gonna give us our chameleon effect. Ooh, I love chameleon paint jobs. Stick with me, watch the process. It's gonna be sick, dog. 10 grams per sprayable gallon. We can keep going. Oh yeah, we're doing all that. Put some of that in there. Set some through the whole thing in there. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Zach approved of the whole thing. Oops. Oopsies. I'm sure it'll still look cool, right? Shake that shit up. Let's go spray. we got the color in the gun we're spraying this out of one of my uh, primer guns and we also have to take the filter out of the cup because this flake is too intense and won't actually shoot out of the gun unless you do those so this is a 1.4 tip it's pretty big blah, pretty big size tip and then uh, no filter no micron so we're just shooting straight flake pretty much um, onto the black and that's how we get our effect. Come on, let's do it. Let's get inside. Put your respirator on guys.
What's up guys? So what we're doing is finally finishing our turbo kit. We're welding the cold side of the turbo together, the piping, so that we can have our treadstone clamps, hold them together at the intercooler. Um, Cook's working on that right now. You can see him. They say you're not supposed to look straight at the light, but I like it. I think it's pretty. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Just busy buffing the car the day that we're supposed to leave. It's one in the morning. We leave at 12 in the afternoon, so we got 11 hours to finish this up. Um, we cut the whole car with sandpaper, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. Now we're buffing it, and then we gotta polish it. Load it up on the trailer. We just finished buffing our SEMA car from two years ago. We're taking it again this year. Um, man. I need a couple four or five hour energies to keep us going, but we will get it done. We're on a decent track. I think we're doing okay. We'll check back here in a little bit. Oh, I'm dropping pineapples. All right, guys, this is pretty much the last piece of the puzzle. It's the diffuser. It is 11.51, Sunday. Wait, yep, it's Friday. We leave for SEMA tomorrow. The car goes into the convention center on Sunday. We are out of time. Done, kaput, that's it. No more, end of story. Finn, whatever you want to call it, we're done after I paint this thing. So, we'll give you a glimpse of the car getting on the trailer. We're gonna load it up in the morning. Anthony's having a sleepover with us tonight because we gotta just button up a couple more things and he's gonna get a little time lapse of that shit. And we're gonna catch you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you can pick me up. What's up guys? This is our friend Ernie Behill. He's a professional scooter -er. Scooter. <laughs> moped, moped rider. Oh yeah, moped. He rides mopeds. Uh, you can check out his link right here. Look at that. Will, Will, Will's a TV show host now. He's fucking got all the all the good uh, TV show host qualities. So he's hooking up us. Oh sorry, I'm on two hours of sleep. He's hooking us up with some decals for the truck that we painted last night. Um, Cook just finished rewiring the trailer up because it wasn't working right. It was locking up the brakes on us. Um, it's about 10 30. We were planning on leaving this morning. We'll see how that goes still. Probably more like 2 p.m. I'm guessing. Either way, you guys are champs. Super champs. Super champs. We're champs. Super champs. Uh, keep going. Yeah, there you go. Like, I don't know, like right there. Lift uh, the C up a little bit. There you go. BT. I wrote her back in the house. Yeah, sick. All right. Expired in 2018. That's it, that's almost five years, man. <laughs> yeah, dude come a long way. Crazy. The original plate. This guy here, Chris Tadoni, another painter. That's how uh, we actually met. But he's the original owner of the RX-7. The LS swapped it the first the time. We did it right the second time. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, Third or fourth or 
Anyway, yeah. But, but I left it to you running, though. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think when you got it, it was running. There was a guy in between us, yeah. and. I can't lie, it was pretty fucking nice when we got it. Sick, dude. Some of the craziest cars here. The display. This is the smallest building in SEMA, the one that we're in right now. And it's probably got 500 cars gonna be up in here. 